day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That's a blessing. That was a blessing. Yeah. You know, our parents. That's a blessing they have in my life. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, bro. Man, you don't hit it. You don't hit it. I don't know if you hit it. I'll look at look at it again when you get a chance. But yeah. it's it's a lot. There was a lot of stuff unpacked, package what we talked about. Today. Yeah. You know. So I want you to have a good week. Uh Oh, I did. I did. I had one more thing I want to just say. This has, I was finished with the scriptures. I was talking to uh, a, a lady that was, I assume, older than me. I could be wrong. No, I'm kind of old, really. I think I look young. Anyway, the, the point was I asked her about the Samaritan story. And I think I may ask her another story in the Bible. I did ask her about the, the Samaritan story. And uh, she didn't know it. I asked her about the fruits of the Spirit. I said, do you know the fruits of the Spirit? And, and she didn't know it. She didn't know. I mean, she said she ain't heard of it. And what I want to impress upon you i'm saying is that there's a lot of people but as they don't even get into they're not reading this scripture she said she was raised up in the church mm -hmm. and she said she didn't she just she said I, I didn't hear about the fruits of the spirit and i quoted them to her right i didn't say i didn't ask to have her quote those back to me i quoted them to her Mm -hmm. I see your love, joy, peace, long. I said, I bet you when I say it, you're gonna you're gonna recognize them, right? She didn't. She didn't recognize them. No, sir. She didn't. She didn't recognize the uh, the Samaritan story. What I what I guess I want to leave with you and, and impress on others is, we got work to do. We, we, we're not only supposed to tell them, but show them in the scriptures, like we do in our discussions, so people can see these scriptures for themselves. You know? Because that's the only way they're going to, if they're not going to read, if they're not going to read on their own, which we want to encourage people, which I want anybody to listen to, that's what I encourage you to do. But if nothing else, when we, when we, those who are believers, get together, the word, in which you, we're all going to agree, matters. So people can read these words and understand these words and take it back and study these words. You know what I mean? When that lady is that what I'm saying, that lady is older than you, at least. And and she looked like a regular mother. She said she sent her children to Bible study. She said she was raised up in the church. But that disturbed me that he couldn't understand the, you know, those stories. Because those stories have a point, right? You agree. The parable, all those parables have a, a meaning to them, right? Yeah. And 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 I know, like, like when we're talking about Naaman, right? You know, not everybody knows that. I know it's an Old Testament story, but it's an important story in itself. Or even when Moses was, it, was Abraham was going to kill Isaac. Mm -hmm. It's important to know what was because that goes back. It goes into Hebrews to tell us what this man was going to kill him. <laughs> and, and Hebrews explained what? What did Hebrews explain about what, what was going on in the head of Abraham when that happened? Do you remember what it, in Hebrews what it was saying? Well, he was, he was wrestling against, you know, killing his own son. I mean. But did you? Did, but he thought that okay, well, if I kill him, surely God's gonna raise him up. That's what the, that's what, that's what the scripture said. You know, it was he, he. I don't know what you call it, struggling. He had the faith to know that he promised me that so shall my seed be, mm -hmm. and that that's the promise is that young man. Oh well, I I'll kill him because I know what you're gonna do. 
You promised me. You told me that this is where my seed's coming from. You told me that. So like you said, in the Hebrews, he witnessed God raising the young man from the dead. That's what he saw. Yeah. That's the Hebrews. What I'm saying is all those stories from Old Testament to New Testament, they all have values in them. You know? And we and, and, and if, if they are have if they do have values in them, then we need to be able to encourage people to study the word of God so they learn the word of God. I think have you asked some people sometimes things about the Bible and they well this is, I think it's imperative that when we do tell folks, okay, well, if when you read the Old Testament, read it understanding that there is types and shadows that there are types and shadows of the new yeah. testament and new covenant right and that when you read them understand the stories but know that there is a spiritual component that ties these yeah. to the new yeah. testament and that it is important that eventually you get the revelation yeah. that shows you where it ties in and how it ties in to the new covenant because a lot of times people get caught up into the stories of the Old Testament and then they apply those to what's going on today mm -hmm. in the New Testament and they're missing the mark because they're not bringing the spirit behind it. Right. The you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. There, there, there's a spirit component that ties that Old Testament to the New. It is not the story because I can, me personally, me being engrafted into this family, into yeah. this lineage, yeah. and to being a, a Hevenian, my... You like that, don't you? <laughs> yes, and I will always use it now. <laughs> um, my life stems from the New Testament but I understand the old oh. and I can pull out the old and place it under the new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can pull the, 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 the new out of the old or I can place the old in the new. Yes. But it always needs to tie in through Christ because that is the tying factor. It is all types and shadows of the new covenant through Christ. Yes. It ties to Christ from Genesis to Revelation. Yes. That's what it's all about. And if you do not tie it, you need to figure out how to. Mm. Because if you don't, then you're just reading stories for face value that have some implications into your life now but there is a deeper revelation that is always there. And yeah. so I can just read the New Testament yes. and exist therein because that's where my lineage starts. Yes, yes, yes. Because the Old Testament is for the, the Jews lived by that stuff. That is their history. But I, I'm engrafted into that. Yes, sir. <laughs> and if I want to get an understanding yes, sir. Of, of man of that, yes. and, and, and man's uh, uh, fight against this world and this world system to get to where it is, yes, sir. then I read that. Exactly. I read that history. But the, the main thing is to understand the gospel. The gospel, the good. To understand the kingdom that you have been engrafted into. To yeah. understand that only through Christ can you be a part of this. To understand that there is a God. Come on, brother. And there is the, all the knowledge. Yes, sir. That pertains to life and godliness is in the knowledge of God and of his son, Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Everything stems from that. Everything. Yes, sir. And you know, from that. 
And I like the part about let's lead this for people is the part where you said reflecting back to yourself. Yes. You need to look at yourself first when you start looking at somebody else. Before. <laughs> ah, yeah, before. Yeah, because he's dealing with you personally. And when we got a point where we got, we teach somewhere along the lesson, somewhere along the, the path, those atrocities that people have done to people to the point that they don't see themselves. They, you know, blind, leading the blind, they're seeing uh -huh. That's, that's, we got to get our eyes off of people onto Christ and into ourselves with that relationship. With we got to learn to give just like he gave to us. Those, yeah. are, those are pieces I got out of, amen? Mm -hmm. All right, you going to pray us out and what you got in the box, man? What you got? Well, this is just my external hard drive that I've had for so many years. <laughs> and uh, it, it quit working. And so I had a cousin try and, and figure it out and he, he got it to, to work again. So I got, I got files on here from Lord knows how long ago. Okay. And I'm just, I'm, I just, it's been sitting here for the longest time. And I decided I'm just going to go ahead and look and see what's actually on it. Ooh. Oh, it's old now, Danny now, brother. He lost his life probably. <laughs> Say what? No, I lost his life. You, you can see it, it's dead. Old, old information. Did you be like, where's the life? Where's it? Well, I mean, there's a, there's like photos and files, you know, just stuff like that okay. on here. So, okay. So yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out, and I'm gonna actually use it to back up my my computer now. Once I once I can I figure out everything because. I mean, the cloud is one thing, but having it at hand yeah. is a whole nother. Yeah, right. I agree. The cloud after all. You know, they talk about, yeah, well, you can have this stuff up in the cloud and it's free. And then all of a sudden, well, you got to pay to get this stuff. Or yeah. you can't figure out how to pull it down. Exactly. Because then you got to pay to pull it down. It ain't yours no more. Come on. Put it up in that cloud. <laughs> Look, it ain't going to rain on you. It's going to rain for somebody else. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> to come down for someone else. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, go ahead and press out and uh, have a good weekend, week, and get ready for the Super Bowl weekend coming up. Yeah, amen. Amen. Well, hey, uh, well, Father, we, we truly thank you once again. As always, you are just so awesome, so worthy. Yes, Lord. Uh, you, 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 you just proved that you are the king. Yes. You are so worthy of that position because there's none that could sit in that righteous position outside of you and everything fall into line. Mm. We thank you for your word. We thank you that it is before us. It's in our hearts. We thank you for your son, Jesus, that it ties us to your word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that brings the truth yes. in your word. And that the revelations that are revealed are revealed in us and on good ground. That yes. they take on root and that they bear fruit. Mm. We thank you for that, Lord God. We truly, truly thank you. These are exciting times, Lord God. Yes. Because your word is truly, truly manifesting in our lives. Yes. It's truly, truly making a difference. Our eyes have been opened. Yes. We see with all clarity, with all understanding, Father God, and we praise you for it. Yeah. Lord God, we know that we are not tied to this world, no. but yet live in it. We know that our resources, Father, come from you. Yeah. We know that our, our authority, Lord God, comes from you. Yeah. Our provision comes from you, Lord God. Our marching orders, Father, come from you. Yeah. And Lord God, we are dedicated to fulfilling the law that you have before us yes. to love you with yes. all our all our mind, Come all on. our soul, all our strength, yes. and to love our neighbor uh, as ourselves. Our neighbor, yes. Through in and through Jesus Christ, Father God, and that we will 
glorify you in that. Mm. And it is that we glorify you. Yes. Is our existence, Father. So, Father, we, we pray that you continue to work on us, to work in us, to work through us, that yeah. we are always sensitive to the Holy Spirit, Father God, that every moment of our lives yes. is Ooh. trying to fulfill your will, Father. Yes. That we lay down our lives as your son Jesus did mm. to serve you. Yes. To live and be a servant for, for these folks in this world. Yes. That we that we reconcile the loss, Lord God. That we bring them into this dear family, this heavenly family. Yes. And Lord God, that you, like I said, that you are glorified in it. So we just we just uh, take this time, Lord God, to to not end this prayer. <laughs> Come on. End this prayer, but we are tentatively listening. Yes. For your response. Speak, Lord. And we say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.